Man, this bike feels weird to be on after we've been on all the other bikes for such a long time. When's the last time we've been on the Onyx? I didn't get that. Could you try again? No. All right, guys, so it has been, I don't know how long, it's been forever since we've been on this bike. And uh, we've had tons of content on the Ride One Up, the Rev One. And uh, yeah, you guys have been showing love to the page, man, with that bike and stuff. But I don't want to seem like I'm always promoting that bike every so often, you know. I want to get on the Surron and the Onyx every so often. This is kind of how I started my channel. And I know I got a lot of uh, Onyx RCR owners out there that, you know, you guys subscribed to my channel when I first started. So that's kind of why we're taking the bike today. And uh, if you guys can see the display, we are down to uh, like 75 volts. I think it was at like 79, but don't be worried. We have a uh, Tri-Systems battery, 55 amp hour in here. So we shouldn't have to worry about anything on this bike with range. It's been a long time, man. It's been a long time. Absolutely love this bike after I put a bigger battery on it. I talk shit on Onyx so bad because I had the 23 amp hour and that's a shitty ass battery to have with a 72 volt bike that has so much power. Once I got a bigger battery for it, it just felt so much better. I didn't get those random cutouts. I didn't get like a huge power loss. The bike just randomly just shutting off in the middle of the ride because the voltage tag was so low. You don't get that with this battery. So it really changed my perspective of the Onyx but I will still say the Onyx is still, it's not that comfortable. Um, I do have aftermarket suspension on here. If you guys did see my garage tour in the last video, if you missed it, go back and check it out. But I told you guys I have EcoBoost shocks on here and they're still, they're just not comfortable. But I will say this is one of the perfect, well, the most perfect e-bikes. If you just want to go straight and you're not trying to like zigzag in and out of like crazy stuff or do some crazy turns or anything like that, if you just want to go straight line fast, nothing really beats the Onyx. What bike is actually out on the market right now? Let's go this way real quick. Um, you let me know what bike is out on the market that's 72 volt right off the bat. I can't even think of anything that's 72 volt right off the bat. So you got to give Onyx credit, you know, for how powerful this bike is. Um, there is a guy that I noticed. It's been going on for like a couple months, but I think just like a week ago, he posted up like he got all the parts to uh, put like a far driver controller on the bike. Now it looked like it had a plug and play harness, but what I'm curious to know, and no one got back to me on my comment, was does this work with the stock lighting, the stock display, um, you know, tail light, turn signals, all that kind of stuff. He never said anything, so I don't know if it does or doesn't. But I would really like to know because if it does, then I might want to switch this out if I can get like at least guaranteed 60 to 65 miles per hour on this bike. That was my biggest complaint about Onyx is that um, it just doesn't go as fast as they say. Even people that compare their bikes to the Onyx, you know, they say it's 60 miles an hour. This is not a 60 mile an hour bike. It's a 50 mile per hour bike at best. Maybe 52 depending on your weight and stuff, but yeah, no, it's, it just doesn't. I think the first models, when they first came out with them, those were about like 55-ish. And yeah, these don't do it. But I mean, regardless, I still do love the Onyx now that I have the battery on here. But I mean, it's still not my favorite bike to take. Now, if I'm going to ride from way out in my area and I'm going to go all the way out to like another city and I know I have a lot of riding to do and I want to stay in traffic, I'm not going to be in the bike lane and I need to do at least a solid like 50, 40 to 50 miles of range, like full out 50 miles an hour. This is the bike that I take. Even my Suron can't compete with uh, all this stuff. God dang, what's going on out here? School must just begin now. You guys might remember this street. This is kind of where we do some of our uh, e-bike reviews. Well, actually, all of my e-bike reviews, we do them right here. Oh God, no, wait. Is this a, uh, this is not a stop for me. I was about to stop, but I was like, wait, no, it's not, there's not a light here yet. But uh, we're taking a different way. Um, I hate to bore you guys with the same old like work routine, you know, like going back and forth to work. Well, I'm gonna try to make this light. Hold on. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Damn it. That Mercedes is too fast. Oh no, no. Um, I'm just taking a different route just because, and honestly, 
honestly, I see like, I see a path that like would be hella cool to take. Oh man, okay, so you guys can't see it, but there's houses across from over there and there's a dirt path and it looks like it goes all the way down to uh, where I'm technically going right now. I think we're gonna have to do that on one of these videos. I don't think on this bike though, because we got street tires on here, if you guys can see it. They're not the, the dirt tires, they're not the knobbies, so I don't think it's a good idea right now. <laughs> all right, let's go this way. Should we use the bike lane? Woo! I'm actually curious to know when the next e-bike, when they come out with one, what is going to be 72 volt? I'm just, I'm seriously curious. Someone has to figure it out. Something needs competition with the Onyx RCR, stock for stock. Now we got the Sting R that just came out and that's a pretty cool bike. Um, huge battery. It is 60 volt. And honestly, like it's not, it's kind of like the Onyx. It doesn't really fall into the electric bike category, um, but at least the Onyx comes with pedals where uh, the Sting R doesn't come with pedals. So you're gonna probably be spending another like 200, 250 bucks on a pedal system. Still a badass bike though, man. I really want a Sting R, but it's kind of like I did so many modifications to my Suron where it's kind of like, where do you go from there? Like I did turn signals, I did all the wiring, I did RGBs everywhere. Um, I got street tires on. I mean, I basically customized it with the BAC, the battery. You move to a whole nother bike, you have to buy all that stuff all over again and start a whole new platform. And it's like, damn, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. Now, I'm gonna start going a little bit faster. I apologize if you guys can hear the, the ticking noise from my microphone because that's in my helmet. I still have not fixed my god dang helmet, man. It's my own fault. I need to take it apart and mess with it. I don't know, we'll figure it out one of these days. Let's get behind this uh, Tesla. I love Teslas. Not necessarily a white one. Everyone has a white one nowadays. I wouldn't want a white one. I want the blue, with that dark blue. Or spend the money and get the red one. Electric versus electric, baby, we gone. Bye, Tesla. Bye. Should I pedal? I should pedal and be funny. 48 miles an hour pedaling. These pedals are not very good either to pedal. <laughs> I, I know I talk shit on the, the Rev 1 pedaling. Um, at least the cranks on the Rev 1 feel comfortable, even though it's mostly the rear that like really prevents you from like pedaling because it's so tight of a chain. This is a loose chain, but the cranks are just not like ideal at all. And I'm gonna beat all this traffic. Let's go. Let's go before it gets bad. Oh, oh shit. What the hell? Oh my God. Why is there so much traffic? What's out here? Is there a school out here? Oh, there's a school out here. <laughs> it's like I'm new. It's like I'm new to the area. At least I made it so no one was uh, in the crosswalk. Please don't turn out in front of me. Run me over. Oh, a Tesla. It's white though, it's white. Oh, here's another Tesla. Oh, it's white, it's white. Nothing get nothing against white. It just <laughs> everyone has a white one. Where's all the colors at? Even the red one is dope, but I mean it's just I don't know. Oh, a black one. Hey, all right, a little different. But that's the main color you see around Fresno, man. There's a charging station that we're gonna be passing. I'm actually probably gonna go right past it. I'll probably go in the parking lot. That's why you see so many Teslas like in this area. And let's hope we make this. Holy moly! Ah, don't hit me. <laughs> Oh, are we gonna make it? If not, I'm gonna. Uh, I want to run it, but at the same time, there's just too many people around. School just got out. You don't know how drivers are around here. Plus, there's normally cops and stuff like around schools when they're out. So we got it though. We got it. I didn't think we were. Line was pretty long for this. That light doesn't stay green for very long. This is the way I always come when I take my car coming this way, going uh, to the freeway. Oh, I have my turn signal on the whole time? Well, at least it's on the right spot now. <laughs> this is why I do not use turn signals. I was watching uh, CNET's review of the Rev 1 and he was talking about, this is the first bike that I had turn signals for, blah, blah, like. I was like, man, 
I was like, the people that get the review, I'm like, I like their editing. I like their editing style and, you know, what they say. They're very good on their information. But they're not people that, you know, ride e-bikes 24-7. So it's kind of like, it's not the best information out there. You know what I mean? He's like, this is the biggest battery I've ever had on an e-bike. And I'm just like, mm, it's not that big. All right, we're going to go through this. What is that? Is that a is that an S? It looks like an S. Those are the clean ones. That's dope. Yeah, we're moving now. We're moving now. All right, let me pull my mirror back out because I did that just so I don't hit nobody. Even though these handlebars are very short, it's still kind of weird like going in and out of traffic, you know. Um, so we're not going to stay on this road. We're gonna go this way, and we are going to turn right here. And this is uh, going to be where the Tesla station's at onto my right hand side once we get over here. One day, this is going to be me. It's going to be me right here with my Tesla. So there we go. There's the charging stations. Is that a silver one? That look like a silver Tesla, unless it's just dirty. I didn't know they made a silver one. Oh, man. So right now is just probably the wrong time to come because. There's absolutely like every single school is getting out right now and I did not think about it. Um, lately what I've been doing is on the weekends I do not take my bikes because we actually stay open later at the store. And I have 30 minutes after we close to make sure you know everyone's out of the store and then I have to count all the money in the, you know, the store and stuff. Make sure everything's locked up. And then on top of that, you know, the safe, um, the computer stuff, and then I got to get my bike and get all my gear on and it just takes too long. So on the weekends, I just don't take my bike anymore to work. It's just too much of a pain in the ass. So I've been driving my car a lot more and I've realized my car needs a lot of work now <laughs> after driving it. Plus, obviously, we got a ticket. So riding e-bikes is better. You don't get tickets. Cops don't care about me in this area. And stop with the comments. I guess it's kind of funny here and there. But like, cops don't care about my air. I'm not ruining anything for anybody. I'm one person on the road. I'm following all the traffic laws for the most part if I was a motorcycle. I mean, sometimes I go through a red light, but I mean, if I'm there by myself and I'm not impeding traffic or blocking anyone or causing anyone to be late for work or causing an accident, I don't see what the problem is. Which way should I go? Eh, we'll just take this way, screw it. These people are gonna think I'm a motorcycle. So let me pedal. Let me pedal so they don't think I'm a I'm a crazy person. Yeah, that lady was very, very sus. She was looking at me like I was crazy. There's more people up here. I just wanna smash. That's why I was debating if I was gonna come this way or not. <laughs> that kid waved and it, it sucked because I hit the throttle right when he was waving so it's like there was that time where I was like there's no way I can lift my hand up right now I might uh whiskey throttle it and go down because I needed this extra hand on here to hold the bike so my bad kid but they were checking me out so I was like hey why not like you know give him a little uh little speed test it's so crazy man the onyx is so damn quiet people don't even know you're coming like maybe like 10 feet before you get to them, maybe they can hear you. They hear a little windy noise, like dee, dee, dee. That's about it. <sighs> Gotta love these motors, man. The QS, what is it, 205? These motors are nice. The Zeus is quiet. Super 73, after we did the modification to the motor, that's quiet. Alrighty. It's all right, it's all right. I'm just gonna stay in the bike lane just because uh, I don't feel like verging over. I could. There's no, there's no like cars like directly behind me, but eh, I'll just stay over here. Why not? Just hope we don't get a flat. There was a connector in the road that I just passed right now. It looked like a uh, battery connector to something. It looks like a, it looked like a Dean connector with two uh, positive and negative wires coming out of it. Someone electric lost their uh, their connection. 
all right so we are here and what is this honda doing please please god I didn't know what the heck they were doing all right anyways we're here so i will see you guys in about 10 hours it's gonna be fun what the heck is this stop school violence what <laughs> who's doing that always have something outside of our building that people are doing nice easy day it looks like the other day I came in it was so damn busy today doesn't look too bad <laughs> hey, good good yourself good. now the shorty onyx pushing this around for uh, example compared to all the other e-bikes it's super short it's absolutely short so I feel like my hands are way down here very awkward Hey, what's up? I was wondering who he's working with. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> well, dang, your helmet all lights up, huh? Yeah, it's technically illegal, but it's whatever. <laughs> I want to be able to be Why seen. Because right? you can't modify a DOT certified helmet at all. You're not even supposed to have a GoPro on it. Huh. Yeah, if you modify your helmet in any way, it's illegal. Yeah. Most cops see me, though, and they're just like, one cop gave me like a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Other cops look at me and just like, eh, whatever, as long yeah, as I'm not being an idiot. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is nighttime. You already know, 10 hours have passed, and now I'm just kind of riding. And um, one weird thing about this bike since I got back on it, obviously, we're at a under half battery when I jump on it because obviously, like, it wasn't fully charged when we left. But, uh, I don't know, man. It just feels it feels slower for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. I got on the throttle and I was just like, "What the heck?" I was like, "Go, bike, go!" When I was leaving in the parking lot, I was like, "What the heck? Go, just go faster." Um, so it definitely lost some power. Obviously, we're only able to do like 48, 49 miles an hour. I'm going a little bit downhill, so it's probably going to go back to like 47 as I come up. But I figured, you know what? Let's take a different way home. I got a faster bike, so. Uh, it's not going to be too long of a trip, but you know, at least we'll have some different content, different scenery. So instead of me making a right going this way, I'm going to make a left. And uh, we're just going to hang out for a little bit. I don't think I made this light though. Did I? No, I didn't. I think, oh man, oh man. Oh, look at all the people going. Oh, look, oh man, you could have made a Honda Civic. You're going to be sitting there for a while now. You know what I'm going to do? I know it's red, but no one's going to be coming this way, so. I'm out. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. So if I would have made it going that way, we would have barely just made it underneath the railroad tracks. Man, that would have sucked. But hey, we would have made it for sure. But anyways, we're going this way. It's very windy now. And uh, it is absolutely freezing. I can't put my visor down a 70% tent. Um, I just can't see anything. And um, man, every time I get on this bike, it just makes me uh, like think about stuff. I guess that's just because this bike is so quiet, so you have no noise to it. So you just kind of think to yourself while you're riding, you got, unless you got music playing. But since I make videos and talk, I don't really have music playing. But it's just like, it makes you think about like life and what's going on and I don't know, just, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a chill vibe, but at the same time, it kind of gets in your head a little bit, you know? You're just like, oh man, I need to do this or I need to do that. Or like, how's my life going? Like, you just start thinking about stuff. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But um, I will say that my favorite e-bikes are the ones that are absolutely dead silent. Oh, God. I hope they're not going uh, the railroad way tracks because uh, they're not going to make it. What did I say? The railroad way tracks? <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. I, that is, that's not even like a, a complete sentence. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of out here riding around. And what's crazy is it says that we're down to four battery bars. If you guys can see that, I don't think you guys can. But uh, 70.8 volts, 70.6 volts on the full throttle. But uh, we definitely have a lot of range out of this battery. Unless it's, you know, taking a shit on me, but I highly doubt it is. Um, if I didn't say it earlier, obviously this is a uh, 55 amp hour chai system battery. So if you guys are looking to pick up one, I do have a discount code. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, even if you don't buy a battery from them, I mean, they make some of the coolest shit ever the only thing is i wish they would make custom stuff for us if you need something custom you got to go with uh powerful lithium 
on that route, but uh, I don't really have a discount code for Powerful Lithium. I wish I did. Maybe we'll try to talk to them one of these days and uh, see if we can get something from them. Woo! Ooh, I was going, I was going quick around that. <laughs> Man, a little bit too fast. All right, so now we just kind of on this road chilling. This is one of my favorite roads to take when I'm just kind of uh, trying to get on this side of town. There's another street up there called West. If you guys are not familiar with Fresno, um, it's another major street up that way. And it's super nice just to kind of take that route because no one really uses these roads. They're mostly pretty dead. The street, not this light right here, but the red light after we go down the, the railroad tracks and come back up, it's gonna be a main street of straw. It's normally super busy. If I was to take that back home, we might have some issues with like cops because there's a police station over there. So I think we're just gonna go through this this light and then the next one after that and then um, I'll take Ashland back and we'll finalize the trip that way so um, let's talk about some stuff on the channel really quick so obviously the cat's out of the bag I probably said it in a, another video but if you didn't watch it then catch it and you're watching this one instead um, I am getting a few new bikes so that's pretty cool we're getting a uh, spark bandit which has a oh shoot Oh my god, go, 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 bike, go! <laughs> Which has a, <laughs> a 2,000 watt hub motor on it. And the video that they showed, obviously they were going downhill, so I'll, I'll test it out and I'll see how legit the speed is. But they got like 45 or 47 miles per hour or something like that on it. Closer to a uh, Super 73. So obviously the hub motor is 2,000 watts, but they're obviously pushing more power out of that motor which you can do on hub motors for the most part. Um, it, si it sounded silent, so hopefully it's gonna sound exactly like the Onyx. And then we also have uh, the Rumble Motors Apex dual motor, or yeah, dual motor and then a dual battery setup coming. I paid for it. I just didn't get the carbon fiber finish, which I should have, but I actually need to reach out to him again because last time I talked, I believe he said I was on the second batch and I thought we were gonna get it this month, but I don't think that's happening because we're pretty much at the end of this month. So I don't know, we just have to figure out what's going on with that. And then uh, we have one more bike coming. It's from, uh, I wanna say it's like Revel or Revel, something like that. But um, they make a cool looking bike. It looks absolutely fantastic. And I'm, I'm actually really pumped to review that bike. Now, when I was talking to the company out and they had three different models, um, they had one that had no suspension. I'm not getting that. I'm not going to have like a hardtail suspension. That's why I did not get the Rev 1 in the HT model because a hardtail is just, it's not fun really at the end of the day. Um, some of them are mostly not that bad and they're decently comfortable. But, you know, if you're going to spend the money and it's only an extra like couple hundred bucks, why not just get the suspension version? Unless the company doesn't make a suspension version at all, then that makes sense. Um, and then they had the highest model, which was the dual battery setup. I told them I didn't really need the dual battery setup, but they wanted to send it to me. They could, but I said, I'm definitely not taking the hardtail version. So they told me, yeah, no problem. We'll send you the middle grade version. I said, okay, that's fine. Like, I don't mind. Like it's a bike that I'm really looking forward to review and it looks promising. So uh, hopefully that review comes out good. And uh, going back to the Spark Bandit really quick, when I make the video about that bike, it's gonna be a little hard to you know, it, obviously I'm going to say how it is about the bike and the version that I got because you can customize those bikes from the company. You can do a lot of stuff to them. So it's really hard to say like, oh yeah, like this one's like badass. I'm going to have to let you guys know that, hey, this is an extra thousand dollar add-on and it's not like the factory. So you guys got to understand that. And it is green for you, sir. And you just sitting there. I'm about through it. I'm a pedal. I'm a pedal. Just make sure I'm pedaling so people know I'm pedaling. Trust me. <laughs> I did not just run a red light in my motorcycle. I did not do that. Um, but I, I was so excited for that bike. I don't know. We're going to see how it is. If I like it so much, I'm going to see if they'll let me keep it. And Because they want me to send it back. It's not my actual bike to keep, but they kind of modified it to my liking. Um, I told them I didn't really matter. It didn't really matter what they put on the bike. You know, like... Whatever they felt comfortable with doing. I did ask for a rear rack, but they said that they didn't have any extra ones. So I was like, okay, that, I mean, that sucks, but just do whatever they want. You know, I'm not, I'm not tripping like too much off of it. Um, so I'm excited for it, but I'm thinking if I like it, I might want to keep it. So I'm thinking about asking them if I do like it, like 
if they'll let me keep it and if not how much money would it take for me to be able to keep it we'll just have to see what they say i guess ow the big bug just hit me right in the face and it's windy as hell coming back so that's why i can't go very fast so under full throttle we're at uh 68 volts which is still not bad at all because uh when we started this trip we were at about 71.8 or 71.6 so we're not doing too bad this is a huge battery so i'm not I'm not too worried about running it pretty low plus i've had it charged at about like i think it was 75 or 76 volts for a while so i felt like you know let's just get a little bit of uh riding done on it really quick and kind of get the battery juices flowing so it doesn't you know go like turn into shit like i don't want it to like degrade over time by just sitting at a full charge forever i kind of want to run the battery for a little bit because it's been forever since we've been on this uh this bike and it's too expensive of a battery 2500 dollars or however much i paid so um yeah <laughs> that's why we're technically on this and i got a lot of onyx fans we said in the beginning of the video and i just kind of want to show you guys is yeah, love and support for my channel i want to kind of give it back by just kind of putting some content out on these bikes every so often because you guys have really helped me push my channel even though onyx doesn't like me at all <laughs> i really i didn't know that car was behind me the whole time i really really wanted the cty2 the 60 volt i honestly think that's a cool ass bike the only thing i was very disappointed in was the fact that it weighs basically the same as this i thought it was going to be a lot lighter so 60 volt obviously not 72 volt but it might feel like similarly like kind of fast and obviously it's going to be faster than 95 percent of the bikes out there because most bikes are 52 volt max they're not 60 they're not 72 unless you convert it yourself but uh i was a little disappointed when it was kind of heavy but the company uh i ordered some parts from they didn't want to send them to me so i was like all right it is what it is um they lost out on a huge sell for me buying the bike so i was gonna buy it myself i wasn't gonna ask for it for free but uh it, you know like i said it is what it is the life of a youtuber you know i'm not trying to get everything for free i buy most of my bikes i think we spent i talked we talked about it one time i think i spent like twelve thousand to fourteen thousand dollars and just since i i want to say like thanksgiving like around october thanksgiving time um all the way up until i think the end of march or middle middle of march I spent that much money on bikes because I want to review them. But at the same time, I do make money on YouTube and then I make money selling them, even though I do I do lose money selling it at the end of the day. But the YouTube videos help and it brings in more people to the channel. And then, you know, sooner or later, hopefully we'll blow up and we'll have money to just buy almost every single thing out there. But um, I am home, guys. So I will see you guys in the next one. You guys are the true MVPs of the channel love all you guys hopefully we'll have a live chat here video soon i don't know just so we can bullshit in the chat you know just kind of catch up but if you guys ever want to reach out to me uh mr central driver at instagram just check that out so instagram at mr central driver that's what i meant to say um add me on there but i, I don't reply to everybody but you guys can definitely add me as a friend you'll see like the upcoming stuff on my stories so you guys can get an early access of stuff that i'm gonna be posting soon so and video updates too all right guys talk to you later Peace. Woohoo.